All right, another great episode. Welcome, guys. This is season three, episode six, discussion. We got back to some of the characters that we didn't get to see in the previous episode. A little bit of what Bran is doing. Um, just kind of a quick follow through, right? John can see the visions. Uh, I think they share a vision this time, and he mentioned that he can see from distance, can see the future. Uh, in one of the previous episodes, they mentioned they can see past, present, future, sort of thing. Yeah, and I was really shocked when he saw John. Yeah. And he's right. John is beyond the wall with the enemy, pretty much. I guess he doesn't know the detail, but he does see John. Yeah, and one of the things that came to mind is that they're going to the north to meet John. Yeah. But now they know that John's not there. Uh -huh. And so, do they still continue on that path? Are they there to go see John? Yeah. Did they, they mention that they're, they're going yeah, to the north of the there. wall? Yeah. Okay. They're heading to the wall. They have nowhere else to go to because... Go. Remember the before the master, what's his Mister? name? Mister? Mister died. He said, "Go north." Mm. And then, okay. but what I'm wondering is, how does he know what John looks like? No, um, um, Brian. Oh, no. you mean um, Johan? Yeah. How yeah. does Johan know what John looks well, like? Well, so he knows the Starks, right? His right. father talked a lot oh. about the Starks, right? His his father, Alan Reed. That talks about the Starks a lot. so And he's been sharing visions with... Uh, and he's with sharing Brand. visions, so That's they true. might have some connection there. Or maybe he has power. You know, I'm going to look up a name, like Google search, and an image appear in his head, <laughs> and he knows I'm going to track down. So who knows how that power works, but it's really awesome. Right? Yeah. He, he can see shit. But also there's side effect, it seems like, yeah. when oh, he yeah. goes into that state. Yeah, it's It seems pretty intense, too, that yeah. side effect. We haven't really seen it with... Bran, when he has his visions, mm -hmm. what sort of happens with right. his body and stuff. All right. So, right. yeah. And my biggest question is if, if they're still going to continue on that path, given kind of the information that they have now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Arya is still Arya, right? She's with the Brotherhood and Melisandre, or the Red Lady. We finally get to see her again. Uh, Melisandre shows up. Yeah. And so when she had first talked to Stannis, oh, there's somebody else with King's Blood, I never thought to think, oh, well, She's talking about Gendry until she shows up at the brother. She's talking about Gendry? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we had. I think we had talked about that before when she had mentioned that somebody who has your blood. Uh -huh, and uh -huh. then he's like, uh, nobody, everybody's, they, you know, they killed all uh -huh. the people. And then that's when it clicked. Wow, it was pretty awesome to see two priests. They're talking high Valerian. I really want them to share knowledge, right? I yeah. want to learn about the old gods. I want to learn about their gods, gods of light. Thor's mentioned, hey, I serve the gods. I just do what he wants. Yeah. He said he didn't believe in in the god he just recited the words uh -huh. kind was, of like an empty vessel sort of thing until right. he actually witnessed the power when mm -hmm. he was saving right. Beric for the first time yeah and he wasn't expecting it i think it no. was just like you said last episode he's just praying over his body and then it happened yeah. and it's one of those things it's like it's your friend right yeah. somebody that you really care about and so you know what i don't believe in it but you know what it doesn't hurt to give it a shot and uh -huh. apparently it worked it's out worth, yeah so now what is he doing now is he following what the voice said in his head is he following the fire yeah i think we talked about it a little bit in the last episode that he and um the red leader melisandre they approach things differently mm -hmm. right. where they believe in their god of light mm -hmm. right uh so i i think he truly 100 percent believes mm -hmm. and he just leaves it up to his god to decide if he's worthy enough to right. receive mm -hmm. his Blessing, I guess. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, he likes to have his drink and, you know, yeah. kind of relax. I mean, yeah, well, he used to be he's just a drunk, right? Yeah. He's, so, he's so still he, a drunk. Yeah, he's still <laughs> a drunk. So he just follows Beric around and mm -hmm. revives him when he <laughs> thinks his lord asked him to. He believes his lord asked him to just keep reviving right. Beric. Yeah, and Melisandre is kind of surprised. Like, he, he revived him six times? That's yeah. Impossible. I, thought, yeah, I thought it was a little bit of jealousy. Yeah. Like, hey, how did you do this? No, I, no it's not about jealousy. It's, it's just I'm, I'm just the first time seeing Melisandre surprised yeah, that it exactly. worked because of all her powers that yeah. she does. Yeah, she actually believes that someone can be revived, which is really interesting. It shows that, hey, she doesn't know as much as she thinks, right? Yeah. And I just love their talk, and I just wish we learned more about the Westeros. Um, the old gods and, and how the power works or uh, yeah. and you know at some point she's like your purpose is to catch Gendry for me right yeah this Lord it's interesting. of Light has a, it seems like you know we don't know who the Lord of uh -huh. Light is or whatever but a lot of influence and it's just crazy how each of them knows exactly where or where Melisandre knows where Gendry's at mm -hmm. like how the hell does she know that they had him mm -hmm. um 
Probably worse to travel, maybe. Yeah, but then she also, you know, with Davos' son, she predicted sort mm-hmm. of like the way he was going to yeah. die. And mm-hmm. then she had that sort of talk with Arya at the end. You know, Arya hates this. <laughs> hates the Red Lady for taking Gendry and just didn't despise her to begin with. Yeah. But then she starts talking to Arya and starts reading through her eyes that we're going to meet again, but that you have all these different color eyes and that you're... What was the other thing that she, she said? said you're going to be you're gonna be shedding eyes. Oh, yeah, your eyes are going to be shed or something. Mm-hmm. And so it's, it's crazy. Yeah. To me, I feel like she doesn't know Arya until she sees Arya, right? Correct. And then she starts reading Arya. So how she describes the characters that close their eyes to us for sure we, we assume that she's talking about the people that you know maybe on Arya's list that she wants to kill right. I assume we, That's what it's I a think. clear message right. mm-hmm. her description seems like she doesn't see everything she's just very vague mm. like she maybe she just sees their eyes closing you yeah. know um, if I'm Arya like can you describe the person yeah. <laughs> are, are you talking about the hound <laughs> <laughs> are you talking about the mountain you know yeah. so, anyway uh, very interesting but I would hate to meet Melisandre. Just don't, don't tell me how I'm going to die. Yeah, please don't <laughs> let it. Don't. I'm starting to feel that Stannis has a lot of potential in this whole, you know, kind of Game of Thrones, even though he lost a lot of his men. But based on what I've seen now, it's a very powerful force, you know, the this fire. And, you know, I don't know. How to have the support of somebody yeah. with this sort of a connection. She knew all these things. Well, Melisandre so. did win him a battle. Yeah. You know. Did beat Renly, kill the smoke monster. We can't forget right. that. Yeah. So we know how strong she is, yeah. but it's just you know Stannis' way of doing things is it's not that you know honorable, right? No. And um, and still, even though Stannis has Melisandre, he still lost. Oh, that yeah. makes it. So it just a thought popped into my head just it, now that if the Red Lady saw him get revived. Um, uh, what's his name? Thoris revived uh, Beric. Beric. She's thinking maybe she can revive the three babies that they had saved in the last one. I mean, I don't know. I'm just thinking. But you know, Thoris also mentioned in the previous episode when Arya's out, can you bring somebody without a head back, right? Yeah. And he says, no. no right? yeah. Yeah, right. I think that's pretty much the same question with, her, with yeah. those three babies. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I love Arya. Yeah. She's still a little kid, you know? Yeah. Yeah. She's bringing that was dead sweet. back. Yeah. That was but, sweet. Uh, yeah. So my question would be, what do you think she wants Gendry for? To, I mean, I'm guessing the blood because they mentioned it. She mentioned it to Stannis that you need somebody from your bloodline. The smoke so, monster. So, yeah, so it was Just something another, along those another lines. Another smoke monster, Probably. of some sort. Yeah, because it doesn't seem like she, they're gonna hurt him or anything because they probably would have done that already. And she, the way she talked to him, like you're gonna be much better than these. Oh men, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Now you're, you're gonna build kings and bring kings down. Like, uh, not the exact words, but something similar right. to that. So it yeah. seems well, like there's a lot riding on with the fray is Rob. And we kind of see kind of them negotiating in regards to, okay, we need your men. What can we do to kind of uh, fix what I broke? You know, uh, Rob is a good leader, a good war leader. Uh, he makes generally good decision. You know, he, he did win every battle he fought. And all his strategy uh, allegiance they're good decision it's just that you know he, he makes some mistake here and there and his men fail him too right yeah uh so but in general he is a good strategist he makes good decision and in this example uh let's make a men with the prey and see if we can get a legion with them so it makes sense he but did, he did mention that he's won every battle and he that's true he won every like war battle mm-hmm. But he's losing those battles within his own camp, mm-hmm. which right. is costing him more than losing the other battles. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good point. You know, you can win every battle, but still lose the war. At some point, he's using all his energy to try to keep his men together, and the, but slowly he's losing the confidence from these guys. Too. Well, it's also his fault, right? Yeah. Of course, he can't punish his his mother for letting Jamie go, but right. you know, he literally lose half his men for uh, killing, killing Costa, Costa, right? right. So. And then also losing faith from his men when he uh, married to Lissa instead mm-hmm. of yeah. sticking so, to his oath. Yeah. Um, it's it's difficult, but it looks like things are starting to move in the direction that we want it to, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, we have them coming to pretty much an agreement, right? Mm-hmm. That they're going to give the fray Hall right. and they're going to 
marry the Frey's daughter <laughs> to uh, to Edmure. Uh, Edmure, of course, hesitant like everybody else that would be married to a Frey daughter. Uh, it's not so a bad deal. I don't know why these guys are so afraid, but, <laughs> but I, I guess they, that's how they despise the Frey. You know, yeah. they look down on Frey so much. So and after that, yeah. their plans go after Castle Rock. Edmure agrees to marrying that Frey's wife. I think Rob is in good condition to start taking over yeah. and start winning more battles again. Uh, yeah, but, if, yeah, and then he would only have to give a parent hall at the end of the war. Too, yeah, so. which is not in the north, and he's comfortable yeah. with that. The biggest thing, though... I remember, Peter owns Harrenhal. <laughs> he was given Harrenhal. He was, he so was given funny Harrenhal, he gets but... <laughs> Don't mess with Peter's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've learned, man. Oh, man. Uh, but, uh... You know, somebody that's been at Rob's side for most of the season, during the war, for each battle, has been Roose Bolton. And so it's surprising when he sits down in Heron Hall and talks to Brienne and Jamie and comes to this agreement that, you know what, we're going to let you go. So, I think Jesus talked about last time that Roose Bolton gave the news to Rob, which didn't add up. He said that it was birthed after they get to Winterfell. Yes. So... That's a lie. And now that he's not going to return Jamie to Rob like Rob wanted. Right. That's a, two lies. What do you, you think? can tell? And I, I think it has, a, I, I agree. It seems like, you know what, because if he was going to, if he's not a traitor, he would be giving mm -hmm. Jamie back to Rob, mm -hmm. which he's not doing. And for Brienne, you know, since she's sitting next to the table, I think he's like, okay, my goal was to get him to King's Landing anyway, so mm -hmm. I, I'm okay with it. Mm -hmm. But, but but he's seen what Rob has done to somebody that you know killed you know last episode the guy who killed the two <clears throat> Lannister boys, and he didn't even hesitate. He's like, off well, of his here's head. the thing. There's a lot that has happened too, right? Right. You, Roose Bolton probably already knows that he's lost half his army. True. Lord Karstark mm -hmm. already gone. Right. He already knows that he broke his vow mm -hmm. with the right. fray, right? And he's trying to amend that. He doesn't know what's going on yeah. there, right? And so. If you're Roos Bolton, <laughs> you're own. like, Rob has lost half his army. Yeah. He has nowhere to go, pretty much. He can't attack, he can't bring them to attack. And so, what uh, do I do? Protect right? myself by having uh, Jamie and give it to the Lannisters, and the Lannisters don't kill us. Yeah, he said to Jamie, <laughs> that makes hey, sense. tell Tywin, <laughs> please. I did you guys a favor. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, you know, I, I, for a second there uh, at the table, I thought, I'm like, how can this guy just sit with them right there? You know? And that's so, what I thought from the previous episode because they weren't saying anything about Rob. Hey, we're going to take you back to the King of the North, you mm -hmm. know, uh, where you should be. So, and then I'm like, this guy has another plan. He has to have another plan yeah. for him. So, and now then he told him, he's like, I'm going to use you to get bargain with your, negotiate with your dad. Mm -hmm. And it makes sense that he lost his army and. Everything that happened at uh, Winterfell. Mm -hmm. so. And it reminds me what Jamie said about Tywin, right? My father don't want to fight for a losing battle, so yeah. maybe Chris Bolton doing the same thing. Yeah, I think it, thing that I've noticed about pretty much everybody with the exception of the Starks is that they'll give you up for any little thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, actually, Lord Karstark. He was, he, he was pretty he was loyal, fighting but uh, he, he felt he was betrayed, and I, I agree, he probably true, was yeah. betrayed, and so you can't follow somebody that you know you don't trust yeah. either. Right. It's a hard decision. Yeah. But, man. Because you mentioned um, Ruth Bolton was going to let Brienne, I, w I don't think he was going to let her free, though. No. Yeah, he said no, he's no. not going no, to. He's, yeah. not, he's not planning on letting her free. I don't know what he plans yeah. uh, with her. If, if he plans on giving her giving him to Rob or whatever the place. I have no idea what that plan is. That could be well, a Well, Brienne is nothing to him. He, yeah. I don't think no. he cares. Yeah. No. But she is a lady, right? Yeah. Technically, she doesn't want to be referred that way, but she is considered a lady. Yeah. yeah. yeah first time we see her in a dress. <laughs> but it's just funny how Bruce Bolton just like, oh, tell your father, you know, what oh, yeah. I did. But also, I'm going to treat you like crap. I think even <laughs> though he's giving them he's letting him go so that he can go back to King's Landing and stuff. Mm. There's still that hate amongst yeah. your Lannister. I'm from the North. Yeah. We still don't get along. Still I'm just doing along. this to kind of preserve mm -hmm. my family, my life, right. etc. Mm -hmm. So don't, don't think of it as we're friends. Right yeah. Now. Good point. I think that's what he's doing. From when his hand got cut off to where he's at now, he doesn't have it as bad as some of these other characters, oh, specifically yeah. Theon. 
Dude. So is this is this sadistic guy another Joffrey? And yeah. Who's worse in this episode? The very and good then it's, it's they literally put these two guys in the same episode, literally torturing and murdering someone, right? Uh, who's worse, or they're just freaking the same? I think just based on this episode, I have who I think is worse. Yeah. Who do you think is? I think in comparison, Joffrey doesn't hold a flame to this guy because he he manipulated an entire situation, let him escape, uh, took out the three guys, brought him back in, made him feel like he literally made an emotional. Emotionally traumatic experience in every aspect. His body, his water. So he wants to play a game. Yeah, and I'm just like, every aspect of him is just crushed. <laughs> There's nothing left. Yeah, and then right at the end, uh, Theon's like, please. And then he's like, okay, we're done. <laughs> so, I mean, and Joffrey, Joffrey, I just feel he just kind of have like a masochism, but he's very reactive. He's like, oh, I don't like this. So, yeah, that's a good, very good question in comparison. Yeah, no, I think Pain. he said something yeah. torturing really well, which was that Joffrey is reactive as yeah. opposed to this <laughs> new guy who seems to have it all kind of structured, very like planned a... out. He's like a more sinister little finger, I would say. <laughs> oh, there <laughs> you go. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's how I would perceive it. I think they're very similar. Yeah. Uh, this guy who's torturing Tion, he's just an older Joffrey. When right. Joffrey gets older, oh, yeah. I think he's going to turn to this guy. <laughs> Because remember, Joffrey is just a kid still. Right. So we have two Joffrey. Damn it. <laughs> because they're Shit. increasing. One so, needs to die then. So my question was, or the game that they were playing is, can Theon guess who he is? Yeah. Can you guess who he is? Or can we guess who he is? Yeah. You know, I was trying to guess based on the black hair, because I'm learning more about, like, you know, where they come from. Dark hair. And then, but his eyes are blue. And I'm like, man. So we know... He lied. He said yeah. he's the car. Uh, Theon guessed that he's one of the Costarts' uh, son. He lied because we know right. Costarts' son both died. One died in battle. One died by Jamie's hand. Jamie's right. Hand. Exactly. Uh, I can't remember the other two houses. He guessed. He has two more houses. Wait. Right? He also yeah, mentioned he for several houses. Mentioned to Theon. He's like, you forgot to ask the question if I'm a liar or if I lied I mean, too, right? right. And so. Yeah, that's. Uh, I'm trying to grasp it still. Maybe it's a whole new thing. The, when in my head, what I was running, I'm like, maybe this guy is related to Bolton because their like their sigil is the, the X thing, and that's what I thought that was when I saw it. So. Yeah, that thing. Is that what this was the whole time? Well, this is that's their sigil. Oh, that's the their sigil. sigil. Yeah. 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 That's so, the sigil, but it's a a man. But it's upside down. That's why I was like, oh, maybe that's not it. But I'm like, that's the same kind of torture thing. So, But I'm like, oh, I couldn't Could tell. You? But his eyes were like greenish, bluish. Remember the Bolton, so. uh, Rob did send uh, the Bolton's uh, men to oh, capture at, Winterfell. At Winterfell. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Ooh. Since Roose Bolton sent his so bastard son, his right, response. to go retake yeah. Winterfell and capture Theon. At that yeah, point. He, did, he mentioned that a long time ago. Right. Yeah, I remember that. Ah, but, but Bolton is at, uh, I don't know where Bolton is at, Heron Hall maybe? Heron Hall. Yeah. Uh, based from the last episode. Right. Is that Heron Yeah. Hall. But in King's Landing, there's a lot going on, right? Mm -hmm. Tywin negotiating with Lady Olena, right? Politics about who marries who and what are they going to give up. It's just uh, Tywin, he knows how to strong arm a deal and he's going to get his way. Yeah, he's very calculated. He's already thinking several moves ahead, yeah. too, so he has a, a plan for what you may come up with. Yeah. But I did see him get agitated a little bit when they were talking about it, right? First, he asked Lady Olena, he's like, you know, your son, you know, he kind of, mm -hmm. um, he might not like women sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> and she tell, she hits him right back. He's like, well, your daughter likes your brother, or likes her brother a little Where too much. Come yeah. From. Yeah, it's very interesting. He got triggered, and yeah. he just refused to accept that. Yeah, he refused. Yeah, yeah. And he he put. He his was ready down. to get up too. He was like, oh, you know, he, he, didn't get up. Oh, he, he did, did get he up. He did get up. That's right. He's like, oh. he's like, all right, you want to play it this way? Well, yeah. then I'm gonna write that your son is gonna yeah. go straight to the king's guard. The most, they, they're both very bright, and yeah. he, they're very similar, right? They're yeah. Oh, drinking wine. Yeah, he's like, yeah. no, that's enough. <laughs> the, I think they're very similar characters, but in terms of family. And, to, and how they approach family is Much entirely different. different. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Absolutely. You can see the caring side of Lady Olena when she talks to Marjorie mm -hmm. and to her right. son, as opposed to Tywin, who's like, he really, I wouldn't say that he dislikes all his sons and daughters, right. but he really... He cares more take about a, the name. He, take advantage of yeah, them. Yeah, he does he take advantage to. of them, and he's, 
he feels like they disrespect the name way mm-hmm. too often. Mm-hmm. And also, we forgot that Lady Olena said when we first saw her, she's just here just because of her kids and because they have to. They have to side with somebody. Mm-hmm. They have to side with the winning side. Right. Otherwise, she said, we'll be happy just sitting back, right? Yeah. But they can't. Somebody yeah. that didn't have a choice with what they were going to be doing is Tyrion, right? <laughs> uh, oh, but, uh, you know, the conversation that Tyrion and Cersei were having together, that brother, brother-sister brother talk, you don't get that quite often where they're very sincere with each other. Mm-hmm. You know that saying, <laughs> misery loves company? Yeah. They're kind of in the same situation, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. they're like, let's hash this out yeah. and make it work for us. They could have done that sooner, but, <laughs> yeah. you know, I always enjoy that. I mean, they're both bright people. So who do you think ordered to kill on Tyrion? Joffrey or Cersei? Because we can't exactly believe what Tyrion said, right? He kind of assumed it's Joffrey and yeah. Cersei didn't deny or agree. Right. She didn't react at all. And that yeah. was the best response because yeah. he couldn't pick it up. He was looking at her. It makes it, sense that yeah. Joffrey would do it. It's, it but seems... why would he do it in the middle of the war? He said, I'm under retreat. You take over. This. Oh, so it doesn't make sense him. to kill someone who's leading the, the war yeah, for you. That's true. But the thing is that Joffrey makes no sense at all anyway. Uh, he doesn't think things through. But for sure he doesn't want to lose the battle. That's the thing. So right. the only other reason I can think of is Cersei, the last minute, she got, I'm, I'm going. But I really hate my brother. He's going with me. That's the only good thing. Because it's, oh. it's possible that Cersei goes, you know what, my brother... Is a smart ass. He's gonna talk his way out of death. That's the only thing I can think of. That makes sense because she was sitting at the throne with her son, and she had the vial, and she was ready. So yeah, that that does make sense actually. Right now, after this conversation, it's like <laughs> I'm not sure who really did it, but it does yeah. feel like it's hard. Joffrey might have actually pulled it off because I felt Cersei at that point. She probably would have just told him, "Yeah, I probably did it. It's not like you can do anything about it, and you already think I did it, so <laughs> might as well." And she's not trying to protect yeah. Joffrey anymore. <laughs> yeah, and so, so I think Joffrey could have given the order just because there's a lot of things Tyrion has already done to him. Slapped him in the face a couple times mm-hmm. already, uh, demeaned him a couple times, and now that he actually is the person that, like it's in the... that took the army and protected King's Landing uh, while he was hiding somewhere, wherever that might have been. Right. But also Cersei has so much time to make plans. She planted all the women to be in that, mm-hmm. uh, in the cell, you know, and with yeah. the butcher to you know, make sure they're all yeah. dead, maybe. But yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to know who. Both Hopefully, we know. get some clues. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's really it's, I really want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they both had good reason yeah. to kill Tyrion. <laughs> Tyrion. Yeah. So. Definitely good reasons. You know, it was difficult for Tyrion to come to, <laughs> uh, to Sansa. Oh, yeah. Sorry, but is there a chance that Tywin? Right when he came, that's when Tyrion got struck down. You can't no. rule Tywin out. You, you, you can't. You can't you really can't. rule him out. And remember, he wanted to put him in the vanguard with those, like, the, the axe guys. Yeah, so many times, he pretty much sent Tyrion <laughs> to death. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. But he don't so have it, power for the king, though. Like, he doesn't have power. He was king, hand of the king. No, he, he has he more power than everything. most of everything. Oh, no, no, but, he rules everything. No, but that time, he wasn't there yet, right? He, he just he got just that. that, that he arrived, and then... Tyrion got struck down pretty much. See, when mm. that all first happened, my first assumption was, or e- and even after that, when you have Tywin talking to Tyrion about how much he really hates this little creature, right? Yeah. There's a lot of sort of, you know what? I think Tywin probably have a stronger bet of just getting rid of Tyrion than his sister would or Joffrey would. Uh, <laughs> this is like... Not Game of Thrones, but, uh, but like Game of like who kill who, who seriously. attempt to kill who. But uh, I mean, if you're Tyrion, your whole family freaking yeah. hates you. Yeah. With the exception of Jamie. Yeah. Right. That's so right. It's, it's when a my difficult brother comes, I really want Jamie yeah, to come back. That and was really uh, heart touching. He yeah. wants to, to yeah, see his brother again. Nice. Yeah. But we keep yeah. forgetting that how they love yeah. each other. Yeah. But uh, you know, Sansa is really happy right now because she thinks she's gonna be wedding <laughs> Loras. <laughs> But that whole whole thing, and he, you had brought this up, right? How is Shay gonna feel when he finds out she had? Yeah, he has it was really awkward. <laughs> yeah, last episode, I was like, man, how's he gonna do it? And he was trying to get her to read between the lines. Can you go? Oh man, yeah. it's gonna be awkward. Yeah, and, and I, I thought so too. I'm like, yeah, 
Sansa wants to stay right now when she knows she's going to marry Loras, but as soon as she finds out she has to marry Tyrion, yeah. she's going to want to be on, yeah. want to be heading out. She was looking at a ship. I think yeah. it's the Tyrell ship. Oh, no, that was no, the little finger. I think it was little finger. 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 Yeah, finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little finger is little Mockenburg. sigil that he made. Yeah. The, the Mockingbird. He has yeah. a ship now? Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, so he yeah. basically, she's like basically looking forward now. Maybe that's her chance to go with little finger. Oh, no, I think she's quite... He's gone. He's leaving. Oh, he left? Yeah, he yeah. left. Because she saw oh, him Oh, okay, I didn't away. pick that. Okay, yeah, I didn't pick that up. Gotcha. Yeah. How awkward Loris and Sansa was when they were talking together you know we kind of want to see them together but <laughs> lord is kind of like <laughs> you I'm know i interested in women <laughs> yeah. as a couple they look good together yeah visually right. on paper it looks good however yeah. in actuality it, it just wouldn't work no i don't think it, i think it would be one of those things where they end up despising each other <laughs> yeah they get but to each other. well for once you know for a moment we saw how happy sansa yeah. was yeah that was short-lived short-lived for her yeah. And Tyrion called it torture for, for Sansa. He's like, who got it worse? Than, which one of the four of us has it worse? Yeah, yeah, he called it. They both yeah. agree that yeah. they're both bad people. Yeah. Tyrion yeah. and Cersei. It's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, but you have brought up something about Littlefinger. How he's becoming much more dangerous than he was before, right? It's not that he becomes much more dangerous. I think he's becoming more powerful. Yes. Yeah. He's winning. Yeah. And I'm like, holy shit, Varys, you haven't made any move. Peter is just win, winning, winning right now. Mm -hmm. He got Harrenhal. Now he's going to the uh, Vale. He's got a ship. And he got a ship. Yeah. He's, he's just winning. The last thing Varys did was torture, or I don't know what he did with that guy, the sorcerer that cut off his... Yeah, you know, he did got his revenge, yeah. but... That's all he was busy doing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, yeah. But so something with Varys, though, is that he he is losing to Littlefinger. But I think his his sort of character is not Flash, right? Mm -hmm. Little, yeah. They're like a little bit opposites. They both are in the shadows, but at the same time, Ver uh, not Varys, but Littlefinger plays it publicly a lot more uh, than Varys yeah. does. So for a second, I feel like Varys know he's losing, and he's. I felt like he's making a plea to Littlefinger. He's like, "But I'm fighting for the realm. You know what's left if everything is chaos, but, if everything's destroyed." Peter's like. Chaos is my ladder. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, holy shit! I never <laughs> thought of that way. <laughs> yeah. Because back in high school, you know, every time um, there's a fire alarm that goes off or some kind of blizzard that prevent you know school from uh, opening, or when the teacher lost everybody's homework, I just got this rush of energy. I'm like, holy shit! This is my chance to turn it in <laughs> because <laughs> I haven't done my homework. Yeah. And I, I felt like, okay, I'm gonna make all these plans, improve my project work more my speech and on the other hand there's this group they're just so pissed like can't believe you lost our work i can't believe you arrived to class <laughs> late and they're just mad at the system for yeah. failing them me the moment there's this, this chaos everyone's out early you know the alarm is going off fire department comes I, I just feel so clear like i know exactly what i'm gonna do that day <laughs> uh and i'm like wow what little finger said clearly shows what he's doing Right. It reminds me of something of what Bronn said back when he was talking to Tyrion when they were preparing for the war. How, you know, amongst when it's war, there's chaos amongst mm -hmm. all the people, and the people that actually, you know, the thieves are the ones that end up getting rich later. And yeah, so they're 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 kinda, yeah, yeah, and so that kind of reminded me of what Littlefinger is talking about chaos and how mm -hmm. you can thrive off chaos because no, nobody's thinking of you as somebody that can actually right. be point. a big player here yeah good point it's exactly what peace is doing and so uh, he plays the game very well yeah it's funny you it's how the way he talks and the way he moves it seems like he's pretending to be a highborn you know right it's like what no i i think that's exactly just the how case yeah. because you, you know since the beginning, he's uh, he created his own sigil mm -hmm. and starts building <laughs> his way up from pretty much nothing. Yeah. Uh, but they're, they're two, Varys and Littlefinger are still entirely different in regards to, you know, Varys likes to say, um, it's for the realm. Mm -hmm. Littlefinger, he's always been pretty straightforward. It's for me mm -hmm. and how I can move up this ladder, not how you can move up this ladder. <laughs> right. And yeah, so, I love it. But, I, love, I love the battle. But if you talk about somebody that's twisted, right? When we talked about Joffrey 
Mm-hmm. And we talked about the, the guy that's torturing uh, Theon. Littlefinger is almost as bad. He doesn't do the actual yeah. killing and stuff. But he's the manipulator that gets these things rolling. He gives them to the people that actually do terrible things. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, then this made, episode made me uh, really sad. We lost Ross. And so my question is, was Ross necessary all this time? I felt like she has a lot of scenes with Tyrion and Peter and Varys. Right. Uh, and she was talking to Shay. I felt like she was important player yeah. but in the end she was just I never got the sense that thrown she, away that she would be or that she I did see her kind of growing a little bit mm-hmm. in terms of like the responsibility that she was getting uh, but never saw her at, at least at the moment didn't see her how she kind of would be a major player in the scheme of all things like I didn't really know what Varys wanted to use her for. Right, and right. Like, just I gain know some, that. and I think she was just there to spy on Littlefinger. Right. And then, unfortunately for her, Littlefinger found out and kind of cost her her life. Yeah, and then Littlefinger also sent out the guy to uh, what's his name? Um, Loris. Oh, oh yeah, Loris. Loris. Yeah, so he's gonna keep That's an eye cool. on that situation. That's how um, Cersei found out that they were planning on marrying oh, him yeah. to uh, Sansa. Yeah. In the previous episode, mm-hmm. I think. Yeah, and same thing with, you know, Shay. You know, how important are they? Or are they just characters that are added so that main characters can take advantage of them, improve their storyline, you know? I mean, right. we forgot that Tyrion saved Ross, right? And he promised he'll save her from Cersei, and he did. On the other hand, Ross works for Peter, but... He just <laughs> throw her under the bus, right? Yeah. She's not protected well, from her own You know, bus. it's one of those things that Peter had a conversation with Roz a long time ago mm-hmm. about... Mm-hmm. You're just yeah, yeah my yeah. tool. Yeah. yeah, and so, I mean, for her, she, and she was well aware of it because she told Varys, I'm scared of him, mm-hmm. and every right to be, and so... Right. I mean, it's one of those things you're spying for Varys mm-hmm. on Littlefinger, and if, some, if you were to find out, you're going to hit some repercussions. Right. Um, I'm just wondering how Varys would react to one of his spies kind of spying on him mm-hmm. instead and how he would take it Ooh, mm-hmm. too, right? Yeah. And so, mm-hmm. interesting. So for me, I think Littlefinger is just as bad as these other guys that are doing the torturing because he's giving them up. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, that's all dark and gloom and stuff. Yeah. Somebody that's having a good, you know, much better time is, you know, for the most part, is John. They ran into a little hiccup there with the wall, but for the most part, there he's uh, he's yeah. It's good to be alive. All these sad stuff, and then they cut so fast to a very nice scene and calm, and uh, Igrid and John above the wall. And that's what Igrid wanted to see, and like wow, it just my mind like just paused for a bit. You know, yeah. John just you know go with Igrid, do what you gotta do, and you know, but the world. Game of Thrones so dark, man. It's <laughs> yeah. so dark. It was very refreshing for me. I'm watching it. I completely forgot that they need to get up there and look for the thousand men or whatever about any... Or they didn't even have time to get mad about the fact that the guy cut the yeah. rope off. Or, <laughs> right? They're just like, hey, we made it here. Let's yeah. let's savor the moment and enjoy it. Yeah. You know, it's it a beautiful nice. scene. Yeah. And do you think John will, will go with the Wildlings? Betrayed and uh, give up his vows. He already did, but do you think he'll continue with it? Give up his vows with the Night's Watch. The Night's Watch? Yes, he will. Ha- he will. He's already kind of because he uh, slept with Ing. So he's he's already accepted that. And I think Ingrid planted something before they went up the wall. Kind of like you kind of have a free will, but we have to trust each other. We have to have well, trust. Well, Igor said that yeah. you have no choice. Yeah, you're stuck with me. Yeah. So she kind of said, look. If we're gonna do something, we're gonna we're a unit. We're gonna do it together. Kind of like what Shay did with Tyrion. They wanna secure that, you know. And I, I can see it. And John is a gentle person and kind of caring and loving. So maybe he will continue in that path and just say, you know what, let's go. And I remember he was ready to leave the Night's Watch at night and the horse, mm-hmm. but they brought him back. So. Well, it's because his whole family was killed. That's different, right? Yeah. So, so. Igret said one thing. He said, "I know your secret. I know you haven't 
given up the Night's Watch. Uh, That's the first thing that she said, right? So, mm-hmm. And then she told them that, you know, the Night's Watch don't care if you die. The Wildlings don't care yeah. if we die because so they'll just get more people to fill in those roles, right? right? So you need to trust us. You, be, mm-hmm. you know, you have to be loyal to me. I have to be loyal to you. Right. Yeah. And I think that will happen. However, I think the strength of of his that oath that he's taken, even though he's broken it, is going to take some constant persistence on both both. It's going to be tested. Part, yeah, it's going to yeah. be tested several times. And so I I think since they're together, they survived this climb up the wall, and they're happy. I think it, it can continue, and right. he has a really good chance of you know what? Screw the Night's Watch, screw the yeah. Wildlings, and let's Go just on, uh, be together. Right. And I think he's the only one that's currently. Sort of doing that compared to when Shay asked Tyrion, "Oh, let's go." He's yeah. like, "No." <laughs> and yeah, same thing with uh, Sansa. Yeah. Let's go. No, I'm staying. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> Sansa's done that twice. Now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I I agree with Egret. You know, it, it's it's a uh, it's really nice. Just yeah. You know, I mean, why would you want to go back to Night's Watch? Those guys are murderer thieves and rapists. You know, they exactly they betrayed. We forgot they betrayed. The Lord Commander. Yes. Why exactly. would you even want to go back exactly. there, man? You know. And the person waiting for him at the wall is what's Sir Alistair, right? The guy that yeah. hates him. So, uh, I mean, if I'm John, man, yeah. just just you know, stay with the wall. Yeah. 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 You don't think uh, we didn't talk about Sam and Gilly? Uh, the very beginning. Yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah. It's not that interesting. There's not. <laughs> yeah. Let's get, yeah, Sam and Gilly are. Uh, Unless they do some magic, I'm not. We couldn't even tell that was an arrow. Just some yeah. dragon glass obsidian. Right. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed our discussion. Catch the next one. <laughs>